What's up guys, it's George Paramore and this is a Q&A video, but this is a special kind of Q&A video featuring my best friend Maxo. <laughs> Anyways, we sent out a tweet for you guys to ask us questions and we're going to reply to him. First question. What's the first question? <laughs> Hold on. First question. From the Delia B, how did y'all meet? Thanks to your dad. All your Thanks dad. for that. Shout out to my dad. One day I randomly went to my dad's studio and Maxo was in there. He saw that I was wearing a diamond hat. Yeah. And we were both into skateboarding, so we kind of chopped it up for a little bit about skateboarding. I listened to some of his music and. Is that the time we went to the skate park too? Yeah, and we actually went to the skate park. After I finished up at the studio, because I was just at his dad's studio just checking it out and just hanging out. And he came in and uh, we ended up talking about going to go skate and he's like, I'm gonna go to the park across the street. And there was actually a skate park across the street. And um, yeah, we played a game skate and just chilled. That was really sick. That was the first time we ever met. Yeah, that's how it yeah. all started. Next question. How long have y'all been best friends? Now this is pretty much two questions because how long have you been friends? And then how, how long have you yeah. been best friends? We've, We've been, been friends, friends for about like, six years. I met him when I was 17. I was 14. You're 14. I was 14. But we just recently kind of became- I'll say about a year. Like a, a year, year ago we best friends. Like best like friends. Best we started friends. hanging out a lot yeah. more. It's crazy. Next question by Hey It's Bree. Who's your favorite rapper? My favorite rapper right now, well it's been for about, about a year now, is Nav, N-A-V, you know. I'd have to say my favorite rapper is Drake, he gets me my feels, he Same. talks about the truth, he's he's the man right now. I feel that, I feel that. Next question by Diane Jelinksy, what is one thing that you guys do that didn't know each other? Let me start off first, one thing he always does is weird stare when he's just staring. <laughs> that? <laughs> Stop touching me. <laughs> Alright, what, what's one thing I do that annoys you, Max? Can you wear my underwear? <laughs> no, I'm not wearing your underwear. <laughs> He's right, not. Maybe, maybe I am, okay. Um, I'm sorry. You don't really, honestly dude, you really don't do a lot of things that annoy me. You annoy me. Yeah, I do. But I, it's cool. But like, you don't annoy me at all. Like, stop know. looking at me. <sighs> Next question by Emily Adiza. What is your favorite season? My favorite season, easy, is winter. I'm a winter baby and like, I love the cold. I love stormy days. I'd have to say mine is summer until it gets too hot, then I'm gonna wish it's cold. Yeah. In winter, I just love winter clothes, like scarves. Yeah, winter jackets. mainly because of the way you could dress, like you can layer a lot, and I'm all into fashion, so. I'm a summer winter person. Just winter. The next question from Yoslin What is one thing or animal that you're afraid of? I'm not really afraid of animals, but one thing I'm afraid of are clowns. I cannot, I do not mess with clowns. It's a thing. But it's not an animal. But it's a thing. So you said you're not afraid of animals, so therefore that's answering the question already. Exactly. <laughs> What's he saying? <laughs> you feel me, you feel me. I would say I'm afraid of, no, a spider, an animal? That's it's a reptile. A bug. It's a reptile. <laughs> it's a reptile. You said a spider's a reptile? Yeah, a spider's a reptile. Is it? An insect. Insect. Probably like a bear. Yeah, bears are scary. Bears are scary. They climb trees. Next question by Maria Tapia. If you had to describe each other in one word, what would it be? Talented. I would definitely say amazing. Definitely. I was going to say amazing, but I had a feeling you are going to say that. There it is. Next question from Kevin. He said, what's your guys' biggest motivation you guys follow every day and what's your goal? Shout out to L. Kevin. Shout out to L. Kevin, mm. first of all. I'm going to say my motivation is my fans because every day I gain more and more. And then another motivation is just watching people that are bigger than me. For example, I watch Richard Kidd all the time. Or I'll watch like, just like big people and I see them like flexing their money and stuff. And like, <laughs> Derek's, alright, Derek's a the motivation. There you go. There it is. No, but like real talk, like probably just people that flex a lot. The reason why I like to flex a lot is because that's what I like to look up to. That way I could be on that level one day. But what's your motivation? My motivation is definitely like my number one motivation are my friends and family. Mm -hmm. My friends are like extremely supportive. Always, man. Like they always want me to do better for myself and you know, do the best I can with everything I do. And my family, gotta take care of your family one day. Yeah. So definitely I want to take care of my family. That's my number that. one motivation. Shout out to Kevin. Next question by Maria. What's your favorite Disney movie? I'm gonna have to say my favorite Disney movie of all time is Aladdin. Definitely, number one. Easily my favorite Disney movie or movies is Starstruck and High School Musical. I like High School Musical more. Get your, get your head in the game. I was oh, in High School I Musical. I used to love High School Musical. Yeah, definitely. Or the Hannah Montana movie. I didn't really see that one. You haven't? You really need I've to watch it. I've seen like on half of these. It's really good. All I know is that one, that song. The Climb? The climb. Yeah, of course. I actually <laughs> like the last song in the movie. I forgot what it's called. I can't think of it right now. 
now. She's performing at the fair in the movie and she sings it. I forgot. Kathy just asked, I'm Axel Official at George Paramore. Best memory together, I love you. Well, yeah, first of all, we love you too. And best memory. That is honestly really hard because me You've and You've had so many good memories, but honestly, one that stands out is just like us going out on trips skateboarding. I took him on his first bus ride ever to go that. skateboarding. I've never he was been so on happy to get on the bus. I was super psyched to get on the That's bus. That's probably my like most favorite memory. I'm gonna say my favorite memory with you, bro, is... Yeah, I would say skating too. Probably when my board got ran over by a bus. <laughs> first time I met our friend DJ, he came along with us and I barely met him when we were skating the spot by my house. And tell him what happened, George. So we're skating, first spot of the day. I was trying front tail. First trick of the day. Big spot. Max tries this trick, like a front tail or something, slips out, he his board <laughs> rolls all the way in the street, and Big I bust him by and runs it over. <laughs> Did your board Bro. snap? It was, a, yeah, that, that board, board snapped. It snapped, the grip tape like ripped over, like it was just, it was destroyed. We, we sat there and laughed for like yeah. an hour. And then it sucked because we still wanted to skate that whole day. And what happened? Did I end up just using your board? I think board? you got another board. You had another board. That's, That's a funny. great memory, definitely. Another good memory is when you, when you got your first tattoo. <clears throat> when you get your first oh tattoo. yeah, Max actually took me to get my first yeah, tattoo. Yeah, that was birthday. super sick. Yeah, I got Live and Enjoy tatted on me, and he sat there with me through the pain. It, 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 it isn't that bad though, right? It was yeah. very bad, but he sat there with me. Yeah, Good you sport. missed my first tattoo. I'm not, I'm not letting that down, dude. But I designed your first tattoo. The cool thing about my tattoo is it's designed by my best friend. It's my logo, and then also it's an inspiration by Nav. So it's just like three things on me forever. It's so sick. Main thing though is it's designed by my best friend. Definitely. It's like I have a PCU on me. I'm a homo. No homo. I feel it. All right, next question. Cindy asked, what's your favorite shoe brand? Adidas. Adidas, definitely. definitely. They, they've, they've been, been killing, killing it the it past year. couple years. Like, I think this year, no, this year, two, no not this year, last year, 2016. Last year also. They have 2016. the Ultra Boost, the Yeezys, the NMDs. Yeah. The tubulars, the new tubulars, like the they've, been killing, they've been killing it. They've been killing it. Yeah, they, and then mainly just the Yeezys. That's what mainly put them on the, on the map for sure. I'm not just a hype beast. I also really like Jordans. He doesn't that much. I, I don't like Jordans that much. I, my really. favorite Jordans are the Jordan ones, the Jordan fives, and the Jordan elevens. That's it. That's like all I wear. Best feature about each other, I'd probably have to say our eyes because we have. You the know, same, I was gonna say the same thing. We have the same eyes. Like we have that's my best feature. About, like it's crazy. If you look at his Twitter header. Like I'll pop a picture right there. If you look right there, we have the same eye color. It's pretty dope. And it's cool when fans make edits too, cause they like, it's yeah, really it's cool. so sick. How does it feel when you shut down malls and having supporters chase after you? It's honestly the greatest and the scariest feeling in the world. It's great because it's cool to know that so many people support you, but the scary part is- It's dangerous. You can like, get it's trampled, really you dangerous. Die. Like it's really, really dangerous. There was one time we had a meetup at Cerritos, right? Yeah, Cerritos. Crazy meetup. Like probably I'd say about 700 of y'all came. It was crazy. It was a lot. We got kicked out of the mall, of course, so we had this brilliant idea to come back to the mall, even though we really? weren't supposed to. We got out the car, we exit, we entered through Forever 21, and we literally just walked towards where all the fans are. They saw us, and we just booked it, like, through the mall. We were getting chased by all hundreds, hundreds all of All I hear is Max yelling, run, <laughs> and he books it. I'm just like, I took off. And the worst part is, oh, actually it was pretty funny because that was the first time I ever jumped over someone. Someone was tying their shoe. <laughs> you didn't see that, huh? I missed that part. Someone was tying their shoe and I legit like pressed Y on Madden. And you know what I'm talking about when you just hop over them? <laughs> jumped over Just them. jumped over them. And then didn't you almost run into a pole with Greg? I almost ran into a pole with Carson. Oh, it was Carson. I saw Carson, Carson. dodge this pole like it was the Matrix. He went... I was like, think oh, about it. We had no. hundreds of fans chasing us, and like it was just crazy. This is when it gets scary. We could not breathe. George, I was scared for George. We went to Chick Fil A after, and like he was like hyperventilating. I was like hyperventilating. It, it was, was just, hot. It was really bad. It was but really hot. We were good. To answer the question, it's a great feeling, but it is dangerous. We got a question from Meg. It says, "Oh, and can you also explain why Max doesn't like salad? Why don't you like salad? Why don't you like healthy things? I try to get him to eat healthy all the time." First, because <laughs> you don't eat salad. First of all, I do like salad. Thank you very much. I just don't like like classic salad. I just like Caesar salad with a lot of dressing, and croutons, mainly croutons. But that's I do like salad, kind of. Oh, also Chinese chicken salad is really bomb from the right place. Like Togos. If you guys ever had Togos, I'm vegan. 
You should eat that. Wait, can you eat that? Chicken? Oh. <laughs> you take it out. Probably. Yeah. Chinese chicken salad from Togo's is incredible. Next question from Alyssa. What's your favorite foods? Okay, can we go before you were vegan? All right, before I was vegan, my favorite food was Italian food. Like, Thank you, me too. Lasagna is my favorite. Me and him had the same Pizza, taste. Pizza, spaghetti, anything Italian. Mine? I can still have like vegan lasagna and stuff too, so that's pretty cool. It's not the same, but it's still my favorite. It's the same. My favorite food is the same as his, Italian. That's another thing that brought us together a lot because we ate, especially when we skated. We were like, yeah, let's go eat that right now. Like burritos. Remember skating burritos? Burritos, like, bro. That was like the skate food. Yes, but um, I love Italian food. Uh, Olive Garden's a pretty amazing spot. If I do go to Olive Garden, I get the three cheese. Three cheese, this sounds disgusting what to is you. Because you don't like cheese, right? I can't yeah. eat cheese. Three cheese ravioli. That's super amazing. That sounds fire, but I can't. It's pretty great. Next question from my boy Thomas. How did y'all meet? Same thing. We already answered that, but. I already answered it, but. Next. We met in the studio. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I would say Berlin. I want to go to the UK. Yeah, I would I definitely love, want to go to Berlin. I love British accents. Like I want to go to Berlin. Cause I want to stop by the Black River store. The Black River. Oh. Dude, you know they have like five parks in there. It's crazy. Okay, we definitely. Yeah, it's a great day. I promise, if I ever go, I'm taking you with me. I'm dead ass serious. I'm down. Next question by Jen Be Nasty. Next meetup, and if you say after VidCon, I'ma fight you. Honestly, you don't want these hands. You really don't want these hands. You don't. He put the laptop down and everything. <laughs> Anyways, um, Max is actually having a free show pretty soon, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be doing. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot shows. more stuff before VidCon, so don't even worry. And about we'll it. definitely be at VidCon. Oh yeah, De so definitely. You can't I'm getting this dude into be after VidCon. VidCon. It's going to be sure. during VidCon. Michelle, if you're watching, we need to get this guy. Just, just him, just me and him. I we need, need to go to, go. to VidCon. Next question by Meg. <laughs> if one of you had to eat the other to survive, who would get eaten and why? Obviously, obviously George. You would get eaten. No, obviously no, bro, no, you dude, can't handle you this. Can I would eat. Twice, like bro, honestly, no I'll body you I'll, so bad. No, dude, come on. You don't want this. No. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll say we eat each other. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. I don't know about all of that. I'll grab it. How about you. okay? How about we just take off one arm each? Like yeah, that can right, be cool. That works. I'll cut my arm off. He'll cut him his arm off. No, nah, you have to cut mine for me. Are we just eat like? Yeah, like like. Yeah. Okay, okay, that okay, works. Yeah, okay. That works. From Alexa, baby girl Alexa, at baby girl Alexa, she said, are you guys both single? By the way, I love you both. First of all, Alexa, we love you way more than you love I us. I love you, Alexa. And yes, I am single. Yes, I'm single right now. But he be simping sometimes. Hey, you be simping way <laughs> more than me. What are you talking about? <laughs> we both be We both be drinking. We, we definitely hella drinking. drinking. Especially when you drop me off and we just like have those Lonely, just me and you, front seat <laughs> driver. Room. Moments where we're just bumping Marvin's room, bumping right. the whole Take Care album. I'm just saying you could do better. Hey, in the background. Tell me, have you heard that lately? Jesus asks, "What's the worst nickname you've ever been called?" Shout out to Jesus. That's one of my homies, by the way. The worst nickname I've ever been called is White. <laughs> you gotta blur that out. Mine <laughs> is Maxi Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How Max, did you get that nickname? Someone just started calling me that in school, and then like, it was a girl though, so like mm -hmm. I couldn't do anything about it. So it was a girl, and I mean, she'd always just call me Max. But I don't even remember who it was to be honest, but I can't forget that. Yeah. Honestly, I got my nickname because. White. Yeah. Where did you get that from? Because I was with my homies one day, and I was. You have to bleep that out. White. Because I really wanted Starbucks, and I was just like, God, uh, I need Starbucks. And my homie Aaron was like, yeah, you would, yo, white <laughs> <laughs> And it just caught on. It was my Twitter name, and everyone in my city knew me as, as white, white That's hilarious. Next question from Jen. This is actually a really good question. Shout out to Sus101. If you were to wear one clothing brand for the rest of your life, what would it be? He's not going to answer it because he really can't think. I would say probably Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> or bait, but mainly Gucci. I hit the camera. Next question from Emily Adiza. Who is your celebrity crush? Do not get me started. Kendall Jenner. Kendall, if you're watching this, just give me a chance. I'm real. He really is real. Kendall. I'm gonna say someone that's actually, I Kendall. can maybe get. I'm gonna say Danielle Campbell. Kendall. I knew he was gonna say it again. I'm right Kendall. here. <laughs> I'm right here. We both live in LA. You don't live in LA. You live in LA.
Next question. Where's your happy place? Cindy asked. Either sleeping or on my skateboard. Anywhere on my skateboard is my happy place. My question couldn't get any more easier on stage. That's, that's my passion. It's what I love to do. Yeah, it's still my happy place. Last question. The last Final one. question. Ender, the Big Bang, the Shum Dong Ding Dong Doobly. This is a great question. What is a best friend? Ashlyn, that's a great What's question. a best friend you got, Max? Tell me. I feel like a best friend is someone you can trust, mm. rely on, oh. completely just give them your all, you know? Like, yeah. you can show them yeah. the real you, not have to be anyone else with you. could tell them your secrets, you can make crazy memories with them, but I think the thing that defines a best friend differs from a best friend and a real and like a regular friend is the fact of the type of like relationship you have with the person, like whether how close you are, like because you could be have a friend but you that. barely see them, you know what I mean? I or you have a best friend that you always see, and then that's what makes them your best friend. What about you? Honestly, what makes a best friend is uh, a person that is real with you first off, someone that's gonna tell you straight up like the truth about stuff. Yeah. Um, someone that supports you. Someone, I don't want to say someone that does stuff for you, but someone that's You can like, say that, because when you say best friend, it doesn't matter, because best friends will do stuff for you. Best friends do stuff for each other yeah. no matter what. You do a lot for me, and like, I do a lot for you. We do a lot for each other. And it's equal. It's definitely equal. It's great. Definitely. So, those are mainly, like, the main things of a best friend to me. Well, guys, thank you for all the questions. I hope we answered enough for you guys. And if we exactly. didn't, wait till part two. Part two. We're going to have a part two. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, for asking questions. Love you guys. We Shout love you guys. Out to everybody watching. Lil Gang. Shaba.